really important to me that our student learning outcomes focus on how to listen better, how to read better, how to speak better, how to write better, and then technology is the way to accomplish this better. Today, um, what they did then was a think, pair, share. And so each team had one clicker and they chose their team so that the, the program will give me a result of which team is the winning team, which team has the best, the most correct answers. So they have their worksheet, they compare their answers, they discuss, and then the team member who is in charge of the clicker for that particular question will choose the correct answer. They'll explain to me why they chose that answer and then they'll see the results and we'll see um, as a class how they their teams did. It's like a competitive but also it teaches us like it brings back the lessons that we already did and stuff like that so it gives a chance for everybody to get involved and stuff like that so it makes it fun for the class. Through the basic skills initiative um, we had some extra money to um, spend on technology and um, other resources that would help our students in the classroom so we were able to get two set of clickers for our specific site. And so they're shared um, among all non-credit faculty who teach everything from ESL to older adults to adult high school, GED and ABE classes and other classes. They do a lot of listening and speaking skills and it's a way for them to establish camaraderie, to do a little negotiation. And so I was doing it the old fashioned way where I had to be the judge and you know, was everybody participating and I'd walk around. So this way when I saw that you could, uh, it, that enumerated the responses, I thought, wow, it does it for them and really um, allows everybody to participate. They're responsible each week for about 10 to 15 words related to the theme that we're studying that week. Before I quiz them, I want to have a review because we know that the more times that students see a vocabulary word in a different context, the more um, readily they'll be able to recall the meaning and definition. I like because I learn faster and it's better for my education. They like to see the immediate feedback. So we, we do an activity, a reading activity, I ask them to respond to the questions, and then we put it on the computer, and then they can respond and see immediately who got it right and wrong. And if they get it right, you can see they're, they're, them smiling, and if they get it wrong, they cover their face, so they're like hitting each other, so it's really good, they, they like it. It also gives me good feedback because I can see the percentages right away. Do we need to work more on this? or do they really have this skill down? It's a way to wake up the class and bring some excitement about technology into the class as well. Your mind processes better if you have visual experience and have as a team and experience like it's a video game. You feel good. You feel good because you, you know that you, whatever you're studying in there is sticking in your head. It's so nice to see the jubilation that they really feel when they've gotten correct answers. So I think it's a fun way to do it. It's wonderful because what it does is it allows that student who might not have the confidence to have a voice yet to participate. And once you, and we all know that once you give a voice or once you give a click, you've made an investment in learning.